some of the issues have been sorted out yesterday and today we had uh, two very important uh, issues the first issue related to the different uh, rates of uh, tax structure and on the rates of tax structure also depend did depend on the question to be addressed which is the source of funds on basis of which the compensation to the losing states will be funded on this issue we are we have virtually converged towards the consensus but till such time uh, a formal decision is taken because the officers of the state and the center have to work out the implications of that consensus as of today i will only say that we have converged towards the consensus the formal announcement of that after working out the technical details will be made in the next meeting itself once that issue is decided a decision on the rate structure then will become uh, easier because whether uh, the compensation is to be funded out of the rate structure itself or out of some special cess or out of any other sources once this question is answered then the rate structure can be determined independently a large part of the discussion in the morning session was concerned concerned with this first question we have also discussed uh, for some reasonable period of time the rate structure and then it was decided that in the next meeting we would finalize the rate structure depending on the formal announcement of the connected question which i have mentioned in the evening we started a discussion on the issue of dual control and division of uh, authority with regard to assessments the underlying principle which has been accepted is that one assessee would be assessed only by one authority that's the advantage of the gst so whom will the center assess and whom will the state assess and how that bifurcation will take place depends on how the dual authority is managed some presentations have been made by officers of the central government as also an alternative presentation by officers of the state governments the west bengal finance minister also presented uh, a set of statistics and those statistics have now to be updated as of today because uh, some of the statistics that we have uh, had become old some of the uh, data till 31st uh, december 2015 was presented and therefore it was decided that we must have up to date data the discussion of the two items is continuing it is still inconclusive and the next fourth meeting of the gst council will be held on the 3rd and 4th of uh, november at new delhi which these two carried over items will be discussed and hopefully a decision taken thereafter the only question which will remain will be the draft legislations those draft legislations can be discussed only after all the issues are settled and these two issues are the ones which are remaining as settlement so once we are able to settle them on third and fourth if we hopefully are able to do that 
then the next item on the agenda which is the draft legislation will be taken up in the fifth meeting which is tentatively scheduled for 9th and 10th of november that's all i have to say thank you भाई आज इस पे पूछो यार आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू वन सेंटेंस इंडिकेशन ऑन विद रिगार्ड टू योर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन that we have almost converged towards the consensus and therefore once we are able to formally take that decision it will only be appropriate for me to comment on the rate structure thereafter so can i just ask so will it be assessed so that we used to fund the compensation or is it some other about various options are there but there is a larger convergence and since uh, the technical details and its feasibility is to be worked out it's only thereafter that a formal decision will be taken देखिए ऐसा है कि टैक्स स्ट्रक्चर की फॉर्मल डिसीजन हम पहला जो प्रश्न है उसके बाद लेंगे आप एक चीज समझ लीजिए कि स्लैब्स कम से कम हो ये एक अच्छा तर्क है लेकिन उस तर्क को बरकरार रखने के लिए या राजस्व हम खो बैठे या बहुत अधिक लगा दें टैक्स दोनों उपयुक्त नहीं है तो अभी जो ड्राफ्ट प्रपोजल दिया है ये फाइनल नहीं है हो सकता स्वाभाविक है कि इसमें बहुत बदलाव आएगा लेकिन उसमें प्रयास ये है कि जो मौजूदा टैक्सेशन स्थिति है जितनी लाइबिलिटी टैक्स पेयर पे है उसको उसके नजदीक ब्रैकेट के अंदर फिट किया जाए उदाहरण जो जीरो रेटेड आइटम्स हैं वो जीरो रहे जो तीन और छह फीसदी के बीच में हैं वो छह परसेंट वाले स्लैब में फिट हो जाए जो तीन और नौ परसेंट तक के हैं उससे ऊपर वाला जो टैक्सेशन के आइटम्स हैं वो बारह परसेंट में फिट हो जाए अब जो व्यक्ति आज ग्यारह या तेरह परसेंट टैक्स देता है जिसको बारह में डाल रहे हैं जिस कमोडिटी पे उसको 18 कर दिया जाए केवल यूनिफॉर्मिटी के लिए तो वो बर्डन बढ़ जाएगा तो इसलिए पहले लगता था कि स्टैंडर्ड रेट 18 हो आज लो स्लैब 6 का और दो स्टैंडर्ड रेट है 12 और 18 जिससे कि राजस्व भी बना रहे और टैक्स पेयर पे लाइबिलिटी भी सीमित रहे नहीं नहीं अठारह में सर्विस भी आ सकती है और गुड्स भी आ सकते हैं और जो सर्विस टैक्स में अवेटमेंट होता है उसका क्या होगा सर देखिए वो प्रोसेस सर्विस टैक्स का चलता रहेगा अलग से Well, that is the finance minister. They are saying that uh, they have almost arrived at convergence, at least as far as some issues are concerned. But there is no decision yet on the final rate structure. Uh, a broad proposal, as we've been putting uh, the details out through the day, and of course last night uh, on CNBC TV 18, give you a sense of what the GST Council is taking forward. Joining us to discuss uh, what we've heard from the finance minister so far, Sachin Menon of KPMG, Hari Shankar of EY, uh, and uh, Pratik. Jai 
Jen uh, is also with us. We'll also be joined by Nihal Kothari, Executive Director, Khetan and Company, and Mohandas Pai is also with us. Uh, uh, Hari, let me come to you first. This is along the lines of what we've been reporting. No decision yet on the final rate structure. They're hoping to first get clarity on whether or not they should use the CES route for a compensation fund. But that is what it seems to be headed towards if you pick up on what the finance minister was saying. Well, the, the, my first reaction is uh, uh, one more week to decide on this is, is a good outcome. I would say it needs deliberation. But having said that, you're right. From what I've heard from the press conference uh, sound bites of the finance minister, it appears that CES is still very much on the table. The question is the quantum and and, and hence the sensitivity analysis, analysis of the revenue numbers to protect revenue. You know. My personal view is CES may not be a great idea, but that's still very much on the table. But the fact that they will have one more week to deliberate and think about it is good, you know, because then you will come with a, a little better outcome than otherwise what would have happened today. You know. So we'll have to wait and watch what happens on 4th and 5th. But CES is very much on the table. Okay. Uh, Pratik, uh, you know, you were here with us uh, last night as well, and you've now heard the finance minister. Yesterday we heard the state finance ministers talking about the possibility of a cess being imposed, and we understand the centre is likely to exercise its powers under Article 271 to try and levy a cess. No final decision yet, but the rate structure will also depend on that possibility. Uh, your first thoughts on what you've heard so far? No, I, uh, I echo what, uh, what Hari is saying. I mean, uh, I think we, we are taking one step forward and two steps back. Uh, uh, I don't think stress is a, is a good idea at all. Uh, and uh, there are multiple reasons. We discussed some of that yesterday. Lead to cascading of tax. There is also, uh, I heard that uh, the idea is that 26 percent and the difference between the existing rate uh, mm -hmm. would be the cess. That would mean the different products yes. have, will have cess at a different rate. Right, and uh, it, uh, uh, right yes. from 2009, the government has been saying that all cesses and surcharges will get subsumed. And uh, recently, when mm. the FAQ document mm. was issued by the government, that also said the same. So, in that sense, I think if, if cess continues, the industry will be very, very disappoint, uh, disappointed. And I just hope that over the next few days, uh, uh, when they are taking time out and kind of discussing the rate structure again, uh, when they come back, uh, they, they move away from CES and uh, maybe look, look at increasing the 26 percent to, let's say, 28 or 30, rather than having the CES. I mean, CES, I don't mm. think is a good idea at all. Okay, Mohandas Pai, how disappointed will industry be if that is the final decision to go through with the CES? I think the CES is a very bad idea, Shireen, for a very simple reason. It complicates the entire matter, puts in another level of taxation. 26% is a reasonable thing, except for alcohol and cigarettes, which may require a different thing. SUVs and so-called luxury goods, I don't know what is luxury. Remember, we are a country where an AC was luxury at one point of time, a fridge was a luxury at one point of time. I think the government of India should take a bold step, like Vijay Kelkar has said, make a grand bargain create a kitty of 1 lakh crore through borrowing over and above the fiscal deficit and say, we will compensate you, we will stand guarantee to the states for the next five years as per a compensation policy. Look at it for two years till everything settles down and then think of increasing any rates. Because the most important thing today is to improve productivity in this country, reduce the multiple taxes and make sure industry gets the benefit. And for two years, if this means that you right. have to borrow an additional 2 lakh crores, 1 lakh crores a year above the fiscal fiscal deficit, you stand up and do it, create a kitty and give it as a grand bargain. Why do this says? Why mess it up? Why have multiplicity just to evade your responsibility? Because I, you know, have an extra borrowing, it doesn't I matter. don't know if the grand bargain is going to...